Hey BlenderBob here, I wanted to show you how you can model using an image even if it has a lot of perspective on it and you don't even know the lens that was used, the sensor size, you don't know anything about the image but still you can use it. Now this is not a new technique, it's been done many times, many people have did a tutorial about this but it's always about architecture. I wanted to show you how you can use it for modeling other things. So here you go. I need to model a London subway and this is the image reference I have for the front and there's a lot of perspective on it. No way I can manually try to figure out the angle. So I'm going to use a software called FSpy. The link is in the description and it's free. It's quite simple to use. You take your image and you just drag it in the interface. Now I got four lines I need to match with the perspective. So I'm going to start with the Y axis. Now this one is done. I can do the X axis. So yeah, here we go. It's that simple. You can also move this around. This will be the origin of your scene. You may get into situations where you would like to align another axis like the Z axis instead of the X. There's an easy way to do it. You just go here and you change to which axis that you want. So in this case, I got the Z and the Y axis. Maybe you want to do this for another software, Houdini or Maya that is using YOP. So you can just change here in the menu for Y and now you get your Y up. When you are ready, you just go save as and save the file somewhere. In Blender, after installing the add-on, you go into File, Import, and you will have FSpy at the bottom here, and you can import the file that you just saved. And magically, you get the image pane already there with the camera, with the perspective. You are good to go, and you can start modeling. And you can see if I adjust my cube, I will get the exact perspective. And about four or five hours later, I get a very accurate model. And it's all modeled from that single image. So there it is, the software and the add-on are completely free. The link is in the description. There's also an add-on that allows you to do it directly in Blender, but I prefer to do this one because I think it's more precise, the lines are thinner, and I get better results with this one. I don't know, but you do whatever you want. Anyways, the links are all in the description. Okay, bye.